What's good? This is Master Ace from Brooklyn, New York. Here with my peoples at Breaking Records Radio. Real hip hop will live forever. What's up? This is Demrix. Jamie Madge Rock. Man, this is your man's Obi Trice. This is Adlin. Yo, what up? This is Specs One. This is Fresh K. Hot Rock's the motherfucking Scrat MC. Breaking Records. Breaking Records Radio out here. This is Breaking Records Radio. Check them out. And then uh, actually curious too, uh, from this, after this we'll move on completely from the Juice Crew, but just curious too because uh, Shan was talking about how he's dropped out of the recent shows that you guys are doing. The, the most recent show. Yeah, the most re yeah, because I talked to him I think literally the night that it was happening or like the okay. night before or something. Yeah. But um, he said he was just got off the phone and was dealing, but... Was yeah, that was Juice Crew Glamorous calling me. Oh, oh they asked me why I ain't doing a Juice Crew show. Oh, shit. That's another story. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm doing Juice Crew shows. We got a Juice Crew reunion tour, right? Yeah. How come is it Shan is the only one doing one song? Everybody else gets to do five and six or whatever, you know. They get to do what they do. But whoever's in charge of this Juice Crew shit now, mentioning no names, feels that my fans are, and, and are not as important as their fans. That mm -hmm. all, my fans only deserve to hear the bridge. That's all they know of yours. Say word. Not knowing, yeah, not, not, not understanding that it was my songs that held the Juice Crew up before you niggas got down, okay? So don't act like oh, all of a sudden you came along and that you took it to a new... No, I held this spot while you was doing what you was doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So don't come tell me what my fans deserve to hear. And so that's why you won't hear me doing any more Juice Crew shows. And I'm not down with that Juice Crew thing anymore. Unless the promoter contacts me directly in order for me to do a show along with the Juice Crew, the person in charge cannot book me anymore, cannot say how much I make, cannot say how much time I have on stage, cannot say anything. Is, is Would that be the same sentiment then? Like, does Fly Tie, those guys, they still own the name, or has it been bought Fly since Tide. then? And... No, Fly Tie's not. I don't know who owns what. Yeah. Um, you know, one, Mr. Magic, I guess, created the name. I don't know. I don't believe that it was ever copywritten or anything like that or trademarked. Okay. And so Fly Ty just kind of uh, claims it, like like as if he inherited it from Mr. Magic when he passed away. He thinks he owns the name, but clearly there's no ownership of that name. Yeah. And we're able to do tours with it, and we will continue to do tours with it. If Fly Ty would like to create a lawsuit. Because he won't, because he hasn't paid anybody. Because he doesn't anybody. have the evidence either. Because yeah. he hasn't paid anybody. So for him to bring a lawsuit against artists that he hasn't paid... It's going it to burn stupid. him, yeah. Yeah, so he'll just sit back and complain and talk junk in, in his in his cheap cheap suits, and, and that'll be that. Yeah. It's a shame, man. It's a shame, because the legacy is really like, you know... Like you said, like, you know, Death Row and Cold Chill in that era of hip-hop, like... That's what you remember. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Unless you really were there at the time and you knew all these other underground cats who were putting stuff out. Like, dudes my age and stuff, you look back in history, like, that's the history you really know. You know what I mean? Absolutely. It's a shame, man. But Yo, what's up? It's your man, MLNY, Maloney, Breaking Records, Breaking Records Radio. You know what it is. I'm just here to tell you guys right now that you want to, if any of my smokers out there, basically, any of my Canadian smokers, now that it's legal, what you got to do is you got to head over to thccollection.com and check them out. And make sure you use the promo code HIPHOP. That's H-I-P-H-O-P. And that's all capital letters. Save 10% on every purchase that you make anytime. They got everything. They got deals every single day of the week, which include like free whatever with whatever you buy. And uh, my favorite is Tulip Tuesday. You can get $100 ounces. And that's only on Tuesdays. And you save 10% on every purchase with the promo code HIPHOP, all caps. That's H-I-P-H-O-P. -H so make sure you go over there. Check them out. That's THCCollection.com for all your good medical needs, for all your good gr greenery, your extracts, and all that good stuff.